Welcome to Dubai 47. Today is the inauguration. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Barge Alcazar. Welcome! Welcome! Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here today. And this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectful Al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this achievement. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family name. But most importantly, this building is for all the people of the world, which is today the tallest building in the world. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar al Ghazal. Hey, back off a bit, would you? I've been personally invited by the Hello, Royal sir. Highness Omar al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top eight. Enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal.
Mr. Kazin. A pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's one I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. In Mr. Kassim, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Ingram right where I'll we right want back. him. Please make yourself 47, you You're know what to do. The view. It's something to behold. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Mm -hmm. 
sir. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Back off. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer. It can only be removed by... The view is quite something. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that it's not me. Please don't move! Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance.